everybody, this is Ryan Evans from Counts Customs, and I'm going to be checking out your rides that you guys sent in to us. I'm going to do this a little bit different because I'm going to act like I'm kind of at a car show. What I do is I go to a car show, I check out the car, and I start poking around, looking at all the details, and inevitably, the uh, the owner of the vehicle comes over and chit chats with me. So I'm going to start with the photographs of the cars, trucks, whatever, and then we're going to get to the backstory on it. So. This should be really exciting because th this is just made for me. <laughs> what have we got coming up? Looks like we got a 63 Chrysler. All right. Got a guy doing some uh, monster artwork. I dig it. Frankenstein's one of my favorites. Nice work, nice work. Oh, it's doing some airbrushing on there. Uh, it's uh, kind of like a markers, pen and ink, and a little bit of airbrushing. I like those. I've got a couple of those in my refrigerator at home. Oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding. Oh, this is such a setup. <laughs> this thing is beyond kooky and badass. Not to mention the fact that it's got my name on the side of it. <laughs> See, Ryan's Rod Service. That's a catchy. That's a catchy one. That thing is wicked. I don't know how much of this is actually left. This is a highly, highly, highly modified car. It has French TED lights. It has extended rear fins. It's got a handmade roll pan. Every, all of this car has got to be handmade. Handmade roll pan. Exhaust looks like it's actually built into the roll pan. The whole rear hatch, I can't tell if there's any glass in it or not, that's all solid, Frenched in taillights, mega chop, I mean I think the windows are about like that. Kind of looks like a, a, you know, the old family station wagon. I don't know what they took, the, uh, the hardtop window comes down in the arch, so I'm not sure what that's from. I'm not very familiar with the Chrysler station wagon, to be honest with you. Beautiful lime green. Or, Gold, a little lime green, looks like some uh, plum crazy purple flames, pink pinstripes, blue pinstripes. I like your style, man. <laughs> I really do. This is kooky. This is, I don't care what anybody thinks, I'm doing what I want and I'm standing out. And brother, you did it. What else we got? How many more? Whoo, metal flake holding hands. I like that. Rainbow flake on top of that. That thing is wicked cool. Craig, oh, those aren't Craigers, those are old American racings. Nice. The gold leaf on the Ryan's Rod Service, that logo, man, that thing is priceless. Well done on the design on that. See, we got, uh, looks like the passenger is Gillette. Valiance Car Club, Colorado. Nice. Man, this thing is crazy. This is not someone who likes to be subtle in any way. Oh, we got any interior shots? I see some angel here. I see some, ooh, winged eyeball, nice. This is car culture. This is custom car culture at its finest. Whew. This thing is wicked cool. Ah, that's what the, uh, the illustration was he was working on. So he's got a, uh, a monster Frankenstein, or Frankenstein monster. Uh, I'm not sure where he's got it at, but it looks like what could possibly be a French antenna. They wrote glory hole around it. Custom car culture is, is very like a like lowbrow, so it's it also plays with a lot of the double connotations. So what it could mean or what it really does mean, I like that. That's pretty neat. What else we got? Yeah, that's where. Uh, let's see where is that? That looks like on the back of it. So that could possibly be a camera or an antenna. What's the name? It's got a name on the back of the car. Finkenstein? Is that it? Got a rat think enthusiast. That's it. We got Finkenstein. Man, that is rad. That's got to be a custom painter's car. <laughs> that looks just like a custom painter's car. Yeah, the whole back hatch, they got rid of the glass. And... Uh, effectively made that a huge canvas next all right now i'm checking out your garage man i'm sorry <laughs> i like to look at the backgrounds you got a mustang looks like in the back got some c10 doors 
Got a lift in the shop and everything. Well done. All right, next. Let's see. This cat looks familiar. What else we got? Keep going. All right. Yeah. Wow. In this picture, that green, lime green, gold, whoo, knocks your head off. Oh, reminds me of my panel truck. <laughs> lime green and gold and purple. What else? Ooh, look at that logo. I like the variegated, it looks like variegated leaf for the crown. Use a little bit of uh, magenta, some whites on there, some, uh, some violets. Gives it a really cool look. I like that a lot. Brother, you got some skills, man. I got, I'll say that much. Look at all that metal flake. Oh, look at that. When in doubt, flake it out. That's what I say. I want to figure out what that window frame is from, man. This thing is so ridiculously modified. It may not have even been a station wagon. This could very well be uh, a, a sedan that he found a station wagon roof that could possibly... Hell, I don't know. Because it, it looks like it's got a van roof on the top with the ribs. The side of it looks like it came off a 56 Nomad. Curious about that exhaust, too. It literally looks like the exhaust tips are welded into the uh, the roll pan, which I've never seen, uh, which obviously means the exhaust goes into the tip in front of the roll pan. What else we got? There we are. There's the hood. Wow. Lots of work on that front end. That front end is fully molded, completely reshaped the hood. The hood no longer goes up to the, uh, the cowl, to the, uh, the windshield. It is literally just a square, so you, once you pop the hood, you just, you're just you looking down into it. That is a lot of work on this thing. Now, see, we're getting to the front, and I'm recognizing the Chrysler. Keep going, keep going. Whew, look at all that sanding. Sorry, that, that's just the, <laughs> the body man painter. I mean, you see unsanded primer it goes instantly to oh we got a lot of work i wonder if that uh the glory hole is is literally where you how you open the back oh look at that now we got backed up in primer i see a little bit of chrysler in the front a little bit of chrysler in the back keep going keep going hey i know that guy i know both these guys as a matter of fact Keep going. Man, look at that. Oh, look at that interior. Here we go. See? Man after my own heart. You got white angel hair everywhere. White vinyl seats. He's got proper window handles, crank handles for a painter. They're vice grips. I swear that's industry standard. That's what's supposed to be there. Especially if you find a nice pair. Keep going. Man, they really, really lean that windshield back. You could practically see the sky looking straight up, sitting in the car. He doesn't have to do this. He just looks up. <laughs> that is rad. There are a ton of pictures here. I love every one of them, but I want to. I, I got to figure out what the backstory is on this one. I, I got to see who this is and uh, how this thing started. All right, we've got a 63 Chrysler New Yorker station wagon. All right, it started out as a station wagon. Uh, owned by Ryan and Judy Timmons. The build started in 93. My husband and his buddies were sitting around drinking beers. That's, that is, uh, technically that is a board meeting. All right, drinking beers and talking about how cool it would be to own a Merc. Duh. Uh, the wagon was owned by his buddy Felix. I know a lot of Felixes. Uh, the conversation went from, we can't afford a Merc, feel ya, to, hey, let's chop your wagon, Felix. You know what? There, there's been a lot of vehicles that I've been around and have worked on, and that's exactly how that starts. That's where the, uh, the bad ideas lead to the good ones. All right, so the guy started the chop that night. Uh, you got to go with your impulses. They uh, they used the beer, uh, the beer cans to measure the chop. Man, never heard of that one. That's a good one. I mean, that's that's a standard beer can size. 
and the long journey started from there. You know, chops are the worst part. Over the next seven years, they started various modifications like uh, removing the rear bumper, uh, rolling the rear pan. Uh, in 2001, Felix lost his storage and needed to find a buyer for the wagon. I'm sorry, man. Ryan couldn't buy it at that point, and it changed hands several times. Yeah, I've heard that many, many times. In 2005, Ryan found the wagon again and purchased it. After buying it, he pulled it in the shop and finished all the body mods. It was only finished on one side, and the windows needed to be filled. Uh, he gave it a flat black paint job with green flames. It was his daily driver for a year, few years. Hey, I, I feel you there. I got a, I got a couple of those. Uh, pulled it back in the shop in 2010. Painted it green with the green with green flames. All right. Uh, took it to many car shows. It was used in the movie Hot Lead Hard Fury. I want to say I've heard of that culture movie. Uh, I'm I being uh, uh, Judy. Okay. Or Jody? Jody? I'm sorry. Uh, I met Ryan in 2013. The wagon was showing some wear by then. She's no trailer queen. Thank you. Uh, I started learning bodywork in a shop in Inglewood, Colorado that year. Well, my hat's off to you, Jody. Thank good good to uh, you know, jump in there and get your hands dirty and figure it out. We moved south to Florence, Colorado three years ago and opened our shop there. All right, the wagon was very neglected at this point. So last year, a friend asked us to bring the wagon to a cool custom car show, all the case, in Pueblo, Colorado. Uh, we really wanted to enter the wagon. She was in need of a lot of TLC. We pulled it into the body shop December 4th of last year, worked on it here until uh, January 24th, sorry. The video was made the first day we rolled her out. She took the Excellence in Customizing Award at that show. Wow, that is a lot of work. See, December 4th to January 24th. You guys are boogieing. Finkenstein, or Finkenstein is a 1963 Chrysler New Yorker station wagon chopped... <laughs> chopped 10 inches? Holy cow! A 413 under the hood, push button automatic. That is rad. That is that's that's just that's so cool. Push button transmissions are awesome. Uh, eight and three quarter posi rear end, sweet. The horn came off the old fire truck, and there's flamethrowers installed. Now I get the the story behind the tips. This sucker shoots fire. The airbrush work was done by very talented Dale Moore. All right, I do know Dale. Uh, from Phantom Graphics in Denver. Uh, interior by Gary Trundle in Florence, Colorado. Uh, you know what? <laughs> you guys are really cool. You, you, you remind me of like the, the custom culture paint family. Um, seriously, hats off on that car. That, that screams uh, custom car culture. I love to see people keep that around because it is very important, very stylized, and you guys are rad in my book. Thank you for sending that in. That is very, very cool. Actually, I hope to see you guys at a car show.